Hello everyone, Phil Pravda here, Suit Cafe, suitcafe.com. Thank you for watching, thank you for commenting, and thank you for subscribing and hitting that notification bell. A lot of new followers here, hopefully you're watching uh, this new video. We've done a lot of unboxing videos, mostly of shoes, uh, sneakers, dress shoes, combinations, shoes that look like a sneaker that you could wear, all different types of ways, with jeans, with suits, whatever it may be. Uh, different materials, leathers, suede's. Uh, we had some fabric shoes also, which were very interesting. And now, uh, as the results of the poll that has been going on in the community tab on the YouTube channel, there's been a request for unboxings of custom-made clothes because that's also what we do here at Suit Cafe. We make custom-made shoes, custom-made clothing, clothing from Italy, shoes made in Spain, and we'd love to show you some of those pieces. So we haven't done any. Uh, I've done a few videos in the past of clothing. It wasn't necessarily to talk about how it's custom made and how it's made and what, how they come out. It was more about, you know, how to wear a jacket and, you know, do you show enough cuff on your shirt sleeve, stuff like that. But now we're going to show you the exact pieces of uh, some custom made clothing that just came in. It's going to go to the customer this week. So we'll show it to you before we send it out. Of course, some of these sizes, particularly this one, these are larger sizes. Everyone has a different size. So sometimes they'll be smaller, sometimes they'll be larger, but you'll get an idea of what these uh, suits look like. So I'm going to have to walk over to the rack because I have some of those hanging over there. And I'm going to show you those right now. Actually, let me get this first one. <clears throat> I happen to have it already in the bag here. We'll take this one out. We'll get this plastic off. And I don't know how these are going to come out on the video. We'll see how they come out. This is a custom-made suit. This is a uh, Super 120 wool. It's all made in Italy. If you can see there, it's a beautiful, beautiful blue. I mean, it's gorgeous. And it's really not a solid blue either. If you look really closely, I'll try and keep it close to the camera here. There's like a small little weave that's inside the fabric. So it has some sort of like little specks of black mixed in with this nice new blue. I see a little thread over there. And of course you have the hand stitching all on the lapel. <clears throat> I think it's better if I stand on this side for this really. You have the hand stitching uh, everywhere on the lapels, on the breast pocket, on the dart, hand stitching also on the uh, flap and uh, real working buttonholes. So these are called surgeon sleeves. So all of these open, they can all be open there. And the buttons are real mother of pearl. Might be hard to tell. Uh, might be hard to tell. I move it up to the camera as best I can. But these are um, blue mother of pearl buttons. You could see the little flash if it hits the light the right way. Uh, blue mother of pearl buttons to go with this, uh, this, this beautiful blue suit. Um, I'll show you the inside on this side because the other side has the name of the customer. I don't want to show his name there. But we chose this uh, classic custom lining, it's just a simple sort of like a navy blue with these little lighter blue dots. Maybe you can see a little bit of that if the light catches it the right way. If I move back and forth a little bit, you can see that there. And uh, each pocket, the inside, oh, let me take it off. Let me take this jacket off here. Uh, this might not be the best way to make this kind of, this might not be the best way to make this kind of video because it's really the first time I'm doing it this way, but I'll turn this a little inside out so you can maybe see it better. There, like this. So here we have what's called uh, peninsula pockets. So you can see right here how the pocket comes inside and the fabric to the suit is wrapped around the pocket. That's called peninsula pockets and the lining is all hand sewn. Uh, all hand sewn onto there. It's a beautiful, nice lining too. This is called Bemberg. Uh, there's different types of linings. There's poly viscose. Uh, the most expensive lining and the most desirable is called uh, Bemberg. Bemberg is a registered trademark of the company that makes Bemberg lining. And it's just a very, um, it's a lighter weight, uh, more breathable lining for interiors of suit jackets or coats or sport jackets or whatever it may be. That's what it's, uh, that's what's, if you're buying something, you want Bemberg lining. Just remember that. You don't want polyester. You don't want viscose. You don't want rayon. You want Bemberg. That's what you want. Um, and it's also made in Italy, Bemberg lining. Um, this is, you know, very, very classic suit. I tend to make very classic things. My customers are um, you know, business people, doctors, lawyers, uh, you know, people who are in business who need to wear suits every day, go to court, see clients, whatever it might be. And they wear very classic clothing. Now it's fashionable because it's, you know, it's uh, updated. It's a little trimmer. It fits nicely. It's a gentleman's cut. It's fully tailored to them. So, um, you know, I don't make any of those. I could make it, but I don't have customers for that. 
crazy skin tight short jacket i don't get those things really uh pants up to your ankles i don't get that either um there are a couple of brands that make things that look that way none of my customers would ever wear it um some of them are too big to wear that kind of stuff but um they would just never even ask me for those things and i don't show it to them because they would think i was crazy <laughs> if i even offered it to them so you know this is the type of thing classic italian two button single breasted flat pockets side vents in the back and of course the trousers are flat front let me put this jacket down here here you have the trousers flat front trouser fully lined on the inside up to the knee and two back pockets with uh, buttons and buttonholes and of course another way that i always make the pants which is something you should know about if you look here these pants i know it's hard for me to stay in the frame here i'll move this closer in a minute um no metal clip you see there's no metal clip here usually pants sometimes you get them and go oh i got the clip i close it i clip it but I don't make pants with the metal clip. So let me move in closer here. My head will get cut off, but that's okay. It's more important you see the detail. But this is only buttons and buttonholes. So it's a regular zipper. It's not button fly, but you have the inside button, which you can button right here. So you do the inside button like that. Then you have the first tab button like this. You button that one. And then you have the one on the outside, which is traditional, you know, see flap just like that a traditional pair of pants and of course with the hand stitching down the front of the zipper now what this does instead of the metal clip you know when that metal clip breaks it's impossible to fix it you just can't fix it sure a tailor could try and sew it back in and make a million stitches i mean i've had it happen and i've you know in years past and tailors have tried to fix that and they go over it with the machine over and over and over and over and over with the stitching and it looks like a mess but it's never really fixed like it is from the factory. Here, when you just have buttons and buttonholes, it's very simple because if a button falls off, what do you do? You just change a button. Very easy for a tailor to sew a button on. And buttonholes, nothing happens to those. So you really don't have any, uh, you really don't have any issue. You really don't have an issue with that. Um, we make the entire suit custom in Italy and we also make the bottoms. The factory makes the finished bottom also in Italy, of course, if you need to make changes here, we can make changes here with our own tailors that we have. And uh, you get the change pocket at the top, which is a very Italian thing to have here, the change pocket. So uh, this is a beautiful wool. I don't, it's too bad you can't feel it on camera, of course. But you could see it has a beautiful luster to it and, uh, you know, really, really nice. So this is not a big size. It's actually a smaller size. This is probably around um, a 38 American, which would be like a 48 European size so that's not a big big size and you also get our custom hanger with uh the name suit cafe right on the hanger there you get that as well so that's one uh one custom suit there that's going to be going to a you know customer very soon and i will show you some more little funky stuff if you want to see let me go back here and uh let me get okay we'll show you this one here this is a much this is a much larger uh customer here this is a hundred percent linen Throw that bag away. Okay, here we have a sports jacket. Only a jacket in 100% linen. I'll move this a little closer so you can see. It's a beautiful color. It's beige and like a French blue. These actually come out nice. Put in close to the camera. Uh, it's a beige and a French blue with a like a tan French blue check on a beige background. And it's pure linen. And I'm going to show you the inside. The inside is what we call unconstructed. So there's no, there's, it's uh, no lining on the inside. It's lined in the sleeve and it has the front fascia because it's canvas on the inside. So you have that. Let me take it off the hanger here. And we make different size hangers, which is interesting. For a bigger guy who has a bigger jacket, you need a bigger hanger. You need a hanger that has a wider shoulder to hold the shoulders up nicely in your closet. Now you can't have a jacket with a tiny hanger and then the shoulder starts to droop over because over time, some, you know, the jacket's not going to last very long if in your closet it's con constantly getting crushed over here. So we have the longer, wider hanger for a person who needs a bigger jacket size. And the suit that I just showed you has a slightly smaller hanger. So we also give hangers in different sizes, which a lot of people don't think about. So let me show you this one here. I got to show it to you without the uh, gentleman's name on his label. Okay, so here we go. Uh, again, uh, interesting lining. This one, a little bit of a pin dot. It's a light blue. Has a sort of like little stars. I'll show you the, you know, look up close at that one. <clears throat> Let me move it over here. 
again with peninsula pockets and you have sort of these like little stars on the lining and you can see the small little hand stitches around the shoulder hand stitches around the peninsula pockets and uh, unconstructed like i said so the inside is like this see with no lining on the inside it's very light i mean i can almost see through it i can almost see through this fabric and side vents, again, always with side vents. Now, some people say, you know what? I don't like linen. Why don't they like linen? Linen is beautifully lightweight, beautifully soft material, so nice to wear in the summer. I mean, you could wear, you could dress this up with a pair of linen pants and a dress shirt and a tie, but you could wear a pair of jeans. You can wear cotton pants. You could wear a t-shirt or a polo, put this on with a pair of jeans and throw it on this jacket. But People say linen wrinkles, which is true. By the time this customer wears this, you know, it's nice and pressed now, has a couple little wrinkles, you know, but which is not a big deal. But by the time you wear it and you start bending your arms, you know, you're going to get all the wrinkles in here. You're going to get horizontal wrinkles across the back like this, especially if you sit in it. And it, that's just the nature uh, of the linen. And that's what's nice about the linen. It should be worn wrinkled. So for those of you who love to be clean and crisp and pressed every moment you know maybe linen is not for you stay away from linen but the look of the linen if you want to try linen is to be wrinkled this will be the first moment you have it on but after the whole day the sleeves will be wrinkled the back will be wrinkled i mean the lapels in the chest that doesn't get wrinkled because you're not bending it and folding it over there that's sitting on your body but um if you sit in a car and i, I suggest you take the jacket off if you have to sit a while in the car if you're just getting in a taxi or an Uber and you take a short trip, you're not going to take your jacket off necessarily. But if you're going for a longer trip, then for linen, like if you go in a car 30, 40 minutes, all right, take the jacket off late in the back seat or something. But um, that's the look of the linen is to be wrinkled. So when it gets a little warmer here in New York and I wear my linen suit, I'll make another video of me with the linen on. And after a few days, you'll see how it looks and how comfortable it looks while you're wearing it. So you want to look comfortable. You want to look like you're cool in the summer and you're not like boiling, sweating hot in a heavy wool suit or something like that. And you want to have summery color. So this is a beautiful linen jacket. I'll show you one more. Well, let me show you a, a, the suit better. I'd rather show you this, uh, I'd rather show you this suit and then we'll make this video. We're not going to show you everything in one video because it'd be too long. But here's another linen, linen suit, beautiful denim blue, with pinstripes. I mean, this is one of my favorites, I, I think, that I've ever made in linen. I just love this suit. And uh, it's, a, it's, it's a beauty. I mean, I'll put it up close to the camera so you can see it. It's not navy. It's like a denim blue, but 100% linen with the white chalk stripes in the linen. So really, really, really nice. Um, this lining inside is also, we have, this, we have this interesting button. It's like a denim blue button that we put on this. Uh, sort of to match this uh, this blue as best we could. You know, something light and airy. It doesn't have to be, you know, putting mother of pearl buttons on linen, it doesn't go. The mother of pearl button is a heavy looking button. It's not heavy in weight. It's just a heavy look. It's more for wool suits. It doesn't really go on the linen. So you have to have a button that looks more light and more summery. Uh, this, this suit, you could have put white buttons on here too. Would have looked nice. But, you know, for a business person, he's not going to put white buttons on his suit. But... Um, it's going to wear linen anyway. So here we go with the lining on the inside. This one is like a little diamond pattern. I'll, uh, let me take this, uh, take this pant away. <clears throat> and everybody pretty much makes the same pant, you know, the flat front. This is a much bigger size, as you can see. This is about a 40, 42 or 44 waist compared to the other suit that I showed you in the blue wool, which was only like a 32 waist. So let me show you the inside of this one. So you can see how this one looks on the inside. Okay, so there we go. So this is like a uh, like a charcoal -y, <clears throat> a light charcoal lining. <clears throat> Sorry, and it has a little diamond. <clears throat> you can see that there. <clears throat> you see that little diamond there, right? And then even under the arm, you have a little sweat flap. That's the sweat flap here under the arm. So still peninsula pockets even in the linen. And a beautiful little diamond pattern, and we have our little uh, we have our little um, a little hook right in the neck. If you want to hook this on a like a like on a door or in the back back door of your office, if you have a hook, or maybe you're traveling on a train and you want to hook it up in your car, you could do that too in the back seat and have it hanging. If you don't want to fold it, <clears throat> and of course side vents, classic with the two flap pockets, 
and a very close. Now, this is big enough <laughs> that I could put it over my own jacket. <laughs> you want to see this? <clears throat> so there you go. <laughs> so this is a this is a big guy because, you know, I'm wearing my jacket and my shirt and my tie and I put his jacket on top of my jacket <laughs> and it's still big. <clears throat> But in the end, this is his size, and it's going to fit him, you know, very, very nice. But you could see right away, even though it's not my size, look at the chest and the shoulder of this suit. So it's full, it's canvas on the inside, full canvas. And look how nice the chest and the shoulder, how clean and how flat it lays, even on me. And I'm, I'm nowhere near this person's size. But you can just get an idea of how nicely this is made, um, even if it's not my size, you just get a you know a really good feeling for how this how how well this is made. I know it's hard to convey it over a video, but um, this gives you an idea. Now, if you if you ever watch uh, <clears throat> people on TV, celebrities or news anchors or <clears throat> anything like that, if you look at the shoulder and you look at the chest and you see a very clean line, no bumps and dimples and no depressions and no waviness. That's probably a fairly we very well-made suit. So, you know, I, 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 I'll tell you something very interesting. <clears throat> I was watching that older series. Uh, it was on HBO, uh, Ballers, with, um, with The Rock. And, of course, I'm sure uh, Dwayne Johnson, all his clothing has to be custom-made because of his size. And as, as you work out, it gets more difficult to get fitted because you become more round. Your shoulders are more rounded. Your neck is rounded. Everything becomes more rounded. That becomes more difficult to fit. Now, he had all the suits in that show custom, but it didn't really, if you if you go and watch that show, those suits really didn't fit him very well. Most of them were going like this. You ever see somebody wear a suit jacket and it's like off their neck? It's rising up off their neck. Most of the suits he wore in that show, although the fabrics look nice, they were coming off his neck like this. They didn't fit him very well. Um, and also some of the pants didn't fit him very well. If you try and look, the rise area where the zipper is in the crotch area was too long on him, really. I know he's got very big legs and he's probably difficult to make a custom suit for, but um, it just didn't fit him right. And some of those suits he wore were three-piece. They gave him a vest. Now, a vest in Miami, I don't know. Miami, that show took place in Miami. It's very hot in Miami. I wouldn't necessarily wear a vest in Miami. I understand they want to look, have a certain look for that TV show. But um, a vest with lapels on the vest and a jacket with lapels in Miami didn't really, you know, fashion-wise, didn't really go together. Because when it's 85, 90 and high humidity in a tropical climate, you don't want double lapels on top of, like me. I got lapels now on top of lapels <laughs> and it's heavy on you. So... Um, those kind of looks didn't make too much uh, too much sense uh, to me. He also wore some plaids and jackets, which were nice, but he had some heavy plaid suits, which really looked to me that they took a jacket fabric and they made a suit out of it. So I tend to shy away from those things too because it's just the plaid is just too heavy, heavy looking. You know, you want to be subtle for a plaid and a suit, not so in your face. Unless they were going for that look, they could have been going for that in your face look. So. Um, I don't know if I mentioned the name of the show. That was that show, Ballers. I might have mentioned it at the beginning when I started talking. But his suits, although they tried to get it to fit him well, they just didn't hit it exactly right. It didn't fit him just perfectly well. Now, that other character played by Andy Garcia in that show, he was wearing 100% linen clothing most of that entire time. And his suits fit very, very well. So he was wearing a very nice fitting suit. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. So... There you have a custom, a few custom-made pieces. This video is getting a little long. I'll come back again, make another video of some more custom-made pieces that we have coming in. We have this same suit coming in linen, but in pale gray with the same pinstripe, but a couple of interesting pocket details on that suit. And then we have two suits coming at the end of the week. Oh, no, sorry. We have two, five. We got five or six suits coming into the week with a sport coat and some pants. I'll do a video on those items. There's going to be some really nice ones. Uh, really nice ones in there. So we'll do some more unboxing of custom-made clothing. And uh, we'll get you into the clothes uh, pretty soon too. So please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We'll do more shoe unboxings. We'll do more clothing unboxings. And uh, maybe we'll get somebody some custom-made stuff. Maybe a contest at some point. Let me get some comments about what kind of contest we could run about some custom-made stuff. Okay, see you all again soon.
when I'm back at it.